everyone, it's Skylar. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> my fruit is going, sorry. We're on to day 22 of 31 days of November Challenge Mum. And this is a movie that it's a comedy from that decade. And I have chosen a film called The Cheyenne Social Club. Directed by Gene Kelly, produced by James Lee Barrett and Gene Kelly. Written by James Lee Barrett. Starring James Stewart as John O'Hanlon. Henry Fonda as Harley Sullivan. Shirley Jones as Jenny. Sue Ann Langdon as Opal Ann. Elaine Derry as Pauline. Jackie Russell as Carrie Virginia. Jackie Joseph as Annie Jo. Sharon DeBoard as Sarah Jean. Robert Middleton as Barkett, Barkeep. Robert J. Wilk as Cory Bannister, Dab Screer as Jedediah W. Willoughby, music by Walter Sharif. Walter Sharif, I think that's how it's pronounced. Production company is National General Pictures, distributed by National General Pictures in the USA and Cinerama, releasing it here in the UK. Release date was the 12th of June 1970, so we're way back now. <laughs> Um, so, movie starts off in 1867 where John O'Hanlon and Harley Sullivan are aging cowboys that work on an open cattle ranch in Texas. Then John O'Hanlon gets a letter from a lawyer saying his brother DJ has passed away and he's left him the Cheyenne Social Club in his will. After the thousand mile trek to Cheyenne, John O'Hanlon and Harley Sullivan find out that the Cheyenne Social Club is actually a high-class brothel next to the railroad. John's newfound status made him the most popular man in town until he wants to turn the club into a boarding house, but the ladies show no sign of leaving and John gets into a brawl with lots of men who are angry because of the clubs closing down. This made me laugh so much. John finds out from the lawyer that DJ made a deal with the railroad that if the ladies leave the club, the land the club is on will revert to the railroad. John returns to the club and finds out that Jenny was assaulted by a man called Harley Bannister. So John and Harley go to the bar and John kills Bannister. So John kills John kills Bannister. So the barkeeper in tones of John heroics. Then the sheriff tells John and Harley that Bannister's re relatives will come to Cheyenne when they find out about Bannister's death. And he says he would like to stay and help, but has to leave town on business. So basically, it was a bit of a sh chicken shit. <clears throat> Harley hears that the sheriff's warning and goes back to Texas even though John pleads him to stay but while Harley is on his way back he meets lots of men at a campfire and finds out that they are the Bannisters so he gets on his horse and rides on then the Bannisters arrive at the club where the gunfire start then John and Jenny kill two of the Bannisters from the window then a third is killed by Jenny by a back door and Harley kills the fourth after climbing the water tower. <laughs> John shouts for Harley and the head banister. He hears of this and remembers Harley at the campsite and shoots at Harley but John runs him down instead and the sixth banister runs away. John and Harley go back to the bar which formerly shunned them so the sheriff congratulates them and tells them that the banister's cousins are coming and wants to stay and help but yet again has to leave on town again on business so the sheriff was a bit of a <laughs> then john leaves and has the lawyer transfer ownership of the club to jenny then months later at the cattle ranch in Texas, John receives a letter from Jenny and is touched by the letter but tosses it 
into the fire, which upsets Harley. As John destroyed the letter, as Harley wanted to read it, and in the end, they ride off together, arguing. <sighs> My thought on this, I have to say, this is one of the most funniest comedies, like, in the 70s that I've ever, ever seen in my life. I roared with laughter right the way through. I thought the sheriff, he was just... Bah, 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 bah. That I can't do it, but... A chicken shit. I said it twice. Uh, Jordan's character was absolutely phenomenal. He took to that role. Who was John? Again, I have to remember. Oh, James Stewart. And Henry Fonda's character, which was Harley Sullivan. He made me laugh so much. And even Jenny's, she was like the head girl that worked in the brothel. She, I liked how it, right at, when the banisters come and, you, and they found out that it was John that killed Corey Bannister who assaulted Jenny. I like the fact that it wasn't just John having a gunfight. It was Jenny as well. So, for her, heroics alone was pretty outstanding. And, oh, what Harley's. Harley goes, Harley goes, do, 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 comes back out of nowhere. But, like, he has this conversation on the campsite with the banisters. Ah, that was crazy. But that's what I'm saying. I love the whole story, the whole concept behind the film. It made me laugh all the way through. And even though a lot of films don't get me like that, this did. I understand it. It just tickled me throat. All the concept, the, the, the words, the acting phenomenal so i have to do with this again <laughs> i have to put my hands up and give it the rating it deserves it's getting a 10 out of 10 i thoroughly enjoyed this film right the way through and not a lot of films i can get with that but this i just got it totally it was just funny and that's what i want to film i like about a film that's a comedy it's got to make me laugh and this did so it's got a 10 out of 10. So, yep. I hope you liked this review. I know it was another short one, but I have things to do today. So, yep. Stay gory, have unpleasant dreams, and I will see you soon. Ta-ta for now. Bye.